on guys i'm back for another video and today we're doing another rally cross build and today we're in the subaru brz uh, this is a car i've been wanting to do for a while i really really like this car as a rally car and i got this super super awesome dirt fish uh rally paint job on it so let's go ahead and start building this thing up i think this thing can do pretty good uh it does have the the butt the rocket bunny kit but i'm not going to throw that on because it does it does lower the car and it makes it so we can't uh when, it doesn't have as much suspension travel um or i would because it looks freaking amazing uh i don't know if i'm gonna do wow there's a lot of engine swaps i don't know if i'm gonna do an engine swap uh, i'm just gonna start out by just doing all the other stuff first and then we'll see what i want to do from there um i'm not not really sure what i want to do this thing does have a whole bunch of different uh upgrades let's see do any of them what's the best one for us we'll just do the forza one for the handling and stuff like that and then same with all of these Ooh, it looks like that one's the best Oh, but this one does give us more handling and braking, so we'll go ahead and throw the Forza wing on there. And then, uh, don't think we need, we don't need any of this stuff. Um, dang, there's no mud flaps, that would've been sick. Uh, we'll just go ahead and throw that on. Alrighty, so let's get up upgrading the tires, put those on. Wow, not, we, it's actually a decent amount of PI to play with. Decent amount. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, something I do want to mention is that I, uh, I apologize for not uploading the last couple days. I think I missed like three days of uploads or something like that. Uh, I was having mic problems with my mic cord uh, for my uh, e Blue Yeti. Um, and yeah, and then I just ended up taking, while well, the cord was on its way, I just ended up taking a, a, f a couple days off, which is nice to not have to wake up super early and uh, grind out a video before I go to work. Uh, so that was really, really nice. But uh, so I don't think I'm gonna do an engine swap. I think I'm just gonna leave the, the stock engine on with the single turbo. Um, I feel like that'll be our best bet. Uh, I don't mess up any of the, the weight and stuff like that because this, this is how the car's meant to be. So let's go ahead and just upgrade this thing as we have all the other parts on. So this is all we have to do is just put some power into it and hopefully we can get a decent amount of power out of it. Um, whoops throw those on as we're coming super super close um we can't put that on but it does add wow that adds a lot of weight it's like 75 pounds for 22 horsepower i don't think that's worth it uh yeah i'm not gonna throw that on Let's see if can we fit the flywheel we can fit one little flywheel on so anyway that's the that's the whole build right there so we're ending this thing with 600 horsepower in even 400 horsepower gain with the turbo on there and uh taking out 200 pounds so that's pretty cool this thing should be pretty awesome it should be pretty good um but the question is will it be able to beat the ram runner uh, i'm still super super shocked how uh, how fast of a time that opal manta got now that i'm looking at the list i think it was just incredible didn't even feel that fast and then all of a sudden i just look and then just finishes an amazing time but yeah so let's uh let's take this thing on over to the Yara Valley Mountain View Scramble Circuit, where we're going to have five laps to see if it can, in fact, beat our current leader, which is the Ram Runner, with a time of 1 minute 1.195. So this is an absolutely insanely fast time. Um, I actually did just recently uh, get a faster time than that, not on the series or anything like that, but I just racing. I was, I was using the Ram Runner online today, and I actually got put on the Mountain View Scramble Circuit online in the Ram Runner. Um, and it started me in first place, which, I mean, it's just, it was just giving me the win, I mean, obviously. And I, I ended up finishing with a time of, like, 1 minute 0. 0.7 or something like that. So, like, 0. 0.4 seconds faster than the, than the time I already had for the thing. So that's pretty cool. Just thought I'd mention that. So let's see how the Subaru launches. <laughs> Quite a bit of wheel spin. These gear ratios are perfect. Oh my gosh, they're nice and short. Brakes aren't too great, which is a little, not super surprising because the car is very, very, very light. So it doesn't have as much, uh, as much weight putting down on those tires. I do believe that's why we were able to get 600 horsepower out of the thing. Let's see, let's see how it handles the jumps. I'm expecting it to do pretty decent. As it is, very well managed, very well controlled over the jumps. Let's see if we can... Ooh, don't want to go up a fifth figure there. Extremely far jump there. Holy crap, completely cleared the water. Uh, 
damn near perfect corner there, coming extremely close to the wall. Little problem with the brakes there, not turning in. We put the power down to the finish. Come out with a pretty decent first lap. That's actually pretty good, a one minute, one, three, eight. It was balls from hitting the wall, and I'm gonna balls that lap too. This thing just doesn't. It, turn, it turns in really, really good and all that, but right when I hit the brakes, um, it just doesn't want to. I'm, I think I might have to around a couple corners. I think I missed that checkpoint. I did. I think around a couple corners on the track, I might have to um, rip the e brake into the corner, which isn't something that I I normally do, but just tap just tap it just a tiny bit just to get the back end to swing out a little bit more, a little bit for what I need. Like right there, I got a little bit sideways there. That was just because I tapped the e brake. This is something that I should have done earlier. Probably not. Probably not a gun. Too. What the heck just happened? I'm having all kinds of trouble with this car right now. Normally, normally I'd be okay with this, but uh, because I'd just be like, oh, I'm just just warming up, you know, first first race of the day, because that's that's what I do half the time. I'll just hop on, press record, and start the series after I pick the car. But I mean, I've been I've been playing Forza like all day. Again, just right there, just completely all the way turning right on the stick and it just continues to just go straight this car has so much potential right now but it's just doing everything it can to make sure that i don't get a good time with this thing breaking a little bit early there just because I'm, I'm worried about the the understeer with the car lap so far, haven't balls it yet. Almost missed that checkpoint, that was a little sketchy, had to rip the e-brake. This car sounds incredible. Alright, so we're leaving it through, leaving it in fourth gear through this section. A lot better through there, let's see if we can clear the water again. As we can, just barely that time though. Don't hit the wall, don't hit the wall. Woo! Pretty good lap so far. A couple little mistakes here and there, but uh, but not bad overall. And then I balls the last corner. Let's see if we can maybe still get a decent time out of this thing. We're coming in with our first clean lap. It's a one, two, five, so pretty decent. Nothing super, super crazy. Oh, that was a good corner there. Nothing super crazy, but uh, still a pretty, pretty decent time. Pretty respectable. Top 20 time. As we do have, uh, do have about 35, 36 cars, something like that on the series. Probably more than that. I think we're coming in on uh, on 40 actually with my list because I, I think I have like two or three more cars on my list that I did off camera. The shift down to third gear there, but still managed to to do pretty good through that section. The wall. Damn it, I balls the lap. That was such a good lap. That first corner was perfect. I think that was that was why I was really trying to push the car there. Anyway, let's see what kind of lap we could have had with this thing. It was a one minute one time. No. And I balls the fucking lap again. Well, I, I'm going to give this thing an extra lap because uh, I, do, I do believe that... Um, Obviously the car the car got a one minute one time so it's a it's a very fast car I just need to actually like drive it how it's meant to be driven I wonder if that's faster to do that that's probably what like the world record guys do is take a corner like that take that corner like that back there and then they do the the stupid little little run right here. They just go straight here. All right, so we're coming in, coming on this lap ending, and hopefully I can not balls this lap, and we can post a really good time here. Like hugging the wall. God damn it. All right, I'll be back with you guys. I want to give this thing a good lap. I feel like, I, I'm pretty sure I've only had like one clean lap so far. Um, and it was the 
125, which is a decent time, but I know that this thing can do better, and I feel like I haven't given it a good shot. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. Hopefully I can not balls this lap. Let's just keep the first corner a little bit more collected there. So I think that, that's our biggest, uh, our biggest fear. Going a bit wide right there. Not the, not the right line I would like. And I am going to take the cheeky little shortcut here. It gives you that super wide line so you can come and just not even let off pretty much going through that corner. Super, super cool. I might start doing that from now on, uh, now that I actually found that. I thought that there was a tree back there, because I think I've done that like accidentally before, but I thought there was a tree back there that was preventing you from doing that, but it's literally set up like perfectly. Just put the power down, squeezing the trigger as much as I can. No balls this last corner. And put the power down to the finish. Not a great last corner. I don't think we're going to get a better lap. We did get a better lap. Oh my gosh, it's super, super insanely fast time from this thing. I'm really glad that I gave it an extra couple laps. Normally, I'd only give the cars five laps, and this one got seven. So uh, definitely a little bit more, a little bit of an advantage. But uh, I do think it was uh, it was within reason because um, I did kind of balls five of the laps I did, and I only had two clean laps. But anyway, that time does put this thing into an insanely fast third place, finishing right behind the Opal Manta just about beating it and barely in front of the 2015 Camaro Z28. Um, insanely fast time from this thing. I mean, I just can't get over it. I love this paint job. I love the Dirtfish Rally paint job. It's super, super sick. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe, do whatever you like doing. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Uh, sorry for not uploading the last couple days. I will do my best to make sure that doesn't happen again. And as always, guys, I'm out.